Alright hey guys and welcome back to another Sonic the Comic collectible video straight from the vault. So I had a lot of interest in my recent upload where I showed you guys one of my original artworks from my collection that featured Brown Sonic. So today I wanted to show you one of the most iconic and famous illustrations of not just Super Sonic I'm going to say but Sonic the Comic in general and that is this right in front of you here. Now this is the original artwork from issue 100 featuring Supersonic. Some people call him just Supersonic, some people call him Fleetway Supersonic, some people just call him Fleetway. Whatever you call him, that's totally fine, but chances are you have probably seen this illustration around on the internet, even if you've never read an issue of Sonic the Comic before, because this is a very, very famous image, and this is the original right in front of you here. So, as I've already said, this is from issue 100, which was released the 19th of March, um, 1997. So, we're pretty much on the 23rd anniversary of the release of this illustration here, which is why I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a video um, featured on this one as well, as well as also um, a lot of people interested in seeing some of these. And this is an absolute amazing piece of artwork to look at. Seriously, as you can see, just by judging by the size difference between the artwork and my hand, original artworks are a lot bigger than the original comic pages that you see in the comics that you read. So, for those that don't know, this illustration was drawn by the legendary Sonic the Comic Artist Richard Elson, who is literally a, a Sonic art god, as I've called him a few times before. And yeah, this is a, just an such an iconic piece of uh, artwork from Sonic the Comic. Um, there are so many um, like YouTube thumbnails and stuff that I've seen where people have put this in their uh, thumbnail. Technically, I guess to try to get clicks to whatever video they're trying to advertise, or even just the internet articles in general. I'm going to show you a couple of comparisons that I've just pulled up to the left of me right here. So. I found a couple very quickly. We've got this top one here. As you can see, anything that you see with other scariest or top 10 or something maybe EXE related, they're going to probably put this illustration in here. So I don't know, you might have heard of this YouTuber, I'm not sure of this one, Diamond Bolt, but you can see he's got it here, top 10 scariest things in Sonic the Hedgehog. If we scroll down a bit, we've got the illustration here again. Now this is a very, very flawed video here. This is from a YouTuber I don't really know too much about called Dorkly, I think. Um, but I have watched this video and the reason this is a very flawed video is, is that this YouTuber has clearly, clearly done no research for this video because he is assuming that this character is from the Archie Sonic the Hedgehog comics. Um, and it doesn't really take much research to find that out. It's, it's pretty crazy that this video has nearly got half a million views. It's a very, uh, very clickbaity video. Um, that's just a couple of comparisons, but just a quick check to just put in something on Google. If you put something like Evil Supersonic, Scary Supersonic, or even just Supersonic from Sonic the Comic, this illustration is going to be the thing that comes up straight away. It's a very, very famous illustration of uh, Supersonic. And, yeah, I honestly think you know, this may well be the most maybe iconic or maybe just famous illustration as a whole from the entirety of Sonic the Comic. And here it is, you are looking at the original page right in front of you here. Now I'm going to get it out of the portfolio sleeve I've got it in in just a moment to give you guys a little bit of a closer look so you don't have too much of the reflection here from the portfolio sleeve. Now unfortunately this um, original artwork uh, has lost the lettering sheet. It wasn't me that lost it. Um, it was just a uh, light away from the original uh, artist, Richard Elson. Unfortunately, it got lost over the years. Remember, it's 23 years old. For those that don't know what a lettering sheet is, here's another comparison. Basically, it's the thin piece of plastic that goes over the original artwork that has the text bubbles and whatever information that needs to be put on there. There might be some editorial notes here from the writers or things that might need to be changed. And there'll be some tape here that says like the page number, etc, etc. And there'll be sometimes these little crosses here you'll see which determines where the cutoff point's got to be for the photocopier to essentially scan it ready for the uh, to be printed in the comics. 
And as I said in my last video going over um, original artworks, uh, in comics definitely, this is very much a dying media in uh, comics because most comic book artists now who work for official publishers, all of their work is digital. So this is very much a dying media. There, there, there's a few odd um, um, artists out there that still draw in a traditional format. Some artists I've seen still draw and then they colour it on their computer. They basically scan it and then colour it. But when it comes to hand painted uh, original artworks, I don't think there is anyone that still um, colours comic book artwork uh, hand painted. And that is what this is here. So I'm going to get it out of this portfolio sleeve and let's have a closer look at this amazing amazing artwork okay so here it is out of the sleeve and I'm actually going to start with the top panel because I haven't actually shown or said that much about this one yet and this is just an awesome panel just in itself I mean I know there's technically nothing Sonic related in this panel there's no like Sonic characters but you've got the black asteroid exploding high in the sky the Mobians are panicking and they're running away and of course coming beneath that We've got Supersonic erupting in an explosion of rage as he emerges from the destroyed black asteroid. And I'm going to get as close as I can to show you some of the details here because this is absolutely incredible. You get a good look at some of the brush strokes that Richard has used here in colour in Supersonic. The many different yellows and oranges that he's coloured in with. It's absolutely amazing. Those pointy sharp teeth he's got. And you get a bit of a good look at um, his clawy fingers and thumb here, you can see. He's got fire emanating from his gloves and shoes. And of course, if you know your Sonic the Comic, you'll know that Super Sonic is shouting free, free at last. Really, really cool. So I'm going to turn it over to show you what's on the back. So these stickers here are common for the kind of issues from 100 onwards. Sometimes it used to be like a black print on here and it was filled in, but this, these ones have got stickers and it tells you the information, it tells you the year. 1997, issue 100, page 4, and the size and page bleed, yes or no. And you've got some more writing here that's been put underneath because this illustration was used as a poster in issue 102, pages 16 and 17, which was the middle of the issue. And this is the legendary man himself, Richard Elson's signature. So yeah, that is that is pretty much everything I've got to say on this. And you know, I, I consider myself so so lucky to be able to own this uh, legendary piece I'm going to say honestly it, it really really is um, I still remember clearly getting issue 100 back in 1997 and was totally like so blown away with the conclusion of the story because it, it wrapped up so many events in Sonic the Comic. It was the Dr. Robotnik had finally been defeated from nearly a hundred issue reign rule. So yeah, very, very awesome. And I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Um, let me know what your first uh, history is with just this illustration of Supersonic in general. I mean, um, you may have come across this on Google or maybe even a YouTube video and then you decided to check out a bit more history on this character. Or maybe you checked out my history of Supersonic video and you may have seen that illustration first there. But always interested to know um, what your first exposure was to supersonic from sonic the comic but yeah if you enjoyed this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated it really helps the channel grow and get more exposure and i've been getting a lot of uh, new subscribers and traffic coming into the channel lately so thank you to every one of you you new subscribers and also current subscribers um, really do appreciate it for you new lot i've got uh, content coming out every week on this channel all Sonic the Comic related and if you've got any questions regarding anything not ne necessarily to this video but in any of the videos I will always get back to them or even just reply to them with a heart icon if it's just um, like a, a positive feedback I've received on there you guys are awesome take care of yourselves and I will see you on the next video